forward to that breaking news. Paul Flores found guilty of first degree murder in the death of college student Kristen Smart more than two decades ago. His father, Ruben, acquitted of being an accessory to murder. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Juan Fernandez. Hi, everyone. I'm Susie Sa. It took over a quarter century to bring some closure to the Smart family. Prosecutors had argued Paul Flores hunted down, raped, and killed Kristen Smart when they were both students at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. The defense tried to counter that the prosecution's case was full of conspiracy theories that were not backed by forensic science. A separate jury found Paul's father, Ruben Flores, not guilty of helping his son hide the body. Authorities never found Smart's body. Paul Flores faces 25 years to life when he is sentenced. The long journey to justice kept many who felt connected to the case glued for more than 20 years. That's right, and now that the verdicts are in, many are relieved, mm -hmm. as you can imagine. KCAL 9's Michelle Geely is live this afternoon in San Pedro, where Paul Flores once lived, with how neighbors are reacting. Michelle. That's right. Many people on this street knew Paul Flores, but not well. They would say their highs and buys, and that's about it. They tell me that Flores kept to himself. What is there to say? It's just unbelievable after all this time. Vanessa Rodriguez knew convicted killer Paul Flores as the neighbor of her in-laws in San Pedro. She drove past Flores home on West Upland Avenue minutes after the guilty verdict was read. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like oh, we were terrified for us because, you know, again, we don't know the facts and, you know, so everything that happened. So, I mean, I mean, it's just unfortunate because he was here and like, like I said, he kept himself and he didn't bother. So I wasn't really scared. So, you know. I mean, it just sucks that this happened a long time ago and they're barely getting justice. The last time neighbors saw Paul Flores in San Pedro more than a year ago, he was in his driveway in handcuffs. A sheriff's deputy held on to his arm. The house is now rented. Oscar Diaz has lived down the street from Flores for years. Well, I mean, I've never really interacted with him. It was just a high and by neighborly relationship. I never got any suspicion or anything like that, that he actually did it because he was very reclusive, barely came out. He wasn't confrontational in any way, shape, or form. He was more of a recluse. He didn't want to make any, make any problems with anybody, but now we know why. Neighbor Frankie Perez watched as the FBI went into Flores' home in 2020 prior to his arrest. After that, he says he listened to a podcast and found out about the Kristen Smart case and her disappearance. If he did it, then he got what you know, he deserved, but Now, I spoke to one neighbor who tells me that she wishes that she had more answers about what Paul Flores did. I also talked to the renter in Paul Flores' old home, which is owned by Flores' mother, and he said he is trying to figure out what's going on. That's the latest live in San Pedro. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you.